All right, bro, this won't make sense until you see it with me. So bear this in mind. Let's say, let's visualize that this thing right here, this water bottle is a 10 foot fence, all right? 10 feet high, 10 feet high, or two and a half meters tall, okay? And then let's visualize that he's on a, he's on a field. This pen right here is a guy, just your average, okay, good looking guy, <laughs> average guy. And let's say he's on a field, we're inside somewhere and we give him the command, we're like, all right, man, your only objective is to jump over this wall. And we tell, and also another key factor, this fence has, let's just say a black cover around the entire thing. So that way you can't see what's on the other side. But all you do know is that, okay, over here is all good. I can't see the other side. This cover is like paper. So if you really tried hard enough, you could just poke your hands through it and use it to climb. We tell him, climb over this fence. And he's like, yeah, okay, whatever. I guess I'll give it a shot. He jumps on the goddamn fence. He kind of climbs up a little bit, kind of comes up, kind of, he kind of gets a little bit tired, that kind of falls back. Yeah, I don't really, he, he just doesn't look like he's feeling it. So we're like, okay, okay. If you jump over that wall, we'll give you a hundred dollars. And he's like, oh yeah, that's all right. And now he says, actually trying to climb it. Ah, oh, damn, damn. He's making some dumb ass noises. He slips and he literally falls and he's like, fuck. Okay, that actually kind of hurt. Man, I don't think a hundred dollars is worth it. And then as a final resort, me, let's say me and you are like chilling in the back or something. We tell him on the other side of this fence is a sexy, attractive white girl who's willing to have sex with you. Only if you get over to the other side, he literally fucking puts all the goddamn, all the, the covering, everything off the fence and flies over to the other side. He gets a little bit mad when he finds out that there's no girl there, but at least he, <laughs> at least he got over the wall. What was the point of that whole thing right there? The point was that at the end of our goals or at the end of the things that we want to achieve, there are usually like is a better life waiting for us. Right. And let's say that the fence was just <laughs> what was the fence even there for a sort of an obstacle. Right. So the way that you see it is that the lifestyle would be the thing that you want to achieve. The goal or no, the prerequisites to the goal are the obstacles. And then here's you. You're at A, you want to get to B and there's something stopping you, which is at like, I don't know, 8.5 or something. So first off, before you even get any further, my name is AJ. I'm a socializer. Scroll down right now if you haven't subscribed because like, what the fuck are you doing? And whilst you're at it, book a social skills call with me. It'll be worth your time. You know, you already know the deal. And also join our legion. Don't be a dummy. So where am I getting at with this? I've heard a few, like uh, some other self-improvement YouTubers, I've heard them say this, that you shouldn't be motivated by rewards because don't do that. That's all dumb. And for a second, I was like, yep, yep, that is the ideal. I will not be motivated by rewards. And I was like, hang on a second. The whole point, like, why would I go to the gym if, like, like why? Why, really? Why would I go to the gym, bro? So I could build muscle. Great. What's the reward in building muscle? Looking sexy as fuck so you can take good ass pictures, which will also get you more girls, which will also get you into a much more polarized and really deep loving relationship. That's a reward, right? But then these other fuckers will be like, don't focus on rewards. Rewards are bleh. So I had to do some more thinking. I was like, okay, it's spirituality. That's why. Spirituality is more like the death of ego, the death of needing more. It's more really like I'm satisfied with where I am right now. I'm okay with being at A, and A is good. The complete opposite of this, where we focus on rewards, where we focus on ego, is <laughs> the opposite of <laughs> the opposite of being satisfied, uh, dissatisfaction. So here's what I think: our greatest motivators in life is to reproduce, pass on our genes, and to have sex with women. Pretty much, like our greatest motivators, we live awesome lives like that, yeah. And that's at B. Currently, if we don't have it, and we're stuck at A. We're going to do a lot, a fuck ton to get over this obstacle, which is stopping us from getting over to B, correct? So here's the mindset that I'm going to start like innovating more often. Here's what I think you should be doing as well. Always keep in mind what's waiting for you at B, right? Always like just keep that in mind. Not like the type of the specific, the skills like, oh yes, I can talk to females. I can talk to guys. I can get them to be laughing and all that stuff. I mean, yeah, that's all right. But also be looking at the lifestyle that's behind it like oh yeah if i'm feeling bored and i got like a free day in front of me i can literally just pick up my phone and just call like a few guys and be like yo you down to hit a workout today they'd be like yeah sure why not and then boom you're hitting a workout with some of your boys you're grinding as fuck think of the lifestyle 
the thing that's happening at the end of it whilst also being aware of the the prerequisites the skills that are needed to get there i really do believe that we should be motivated by rewards because if we weren't and if we were living in a world where we had no dopamine system that's the main fucking part our dopamine systems are literally linked towards reward systems yes <laughs> they're linked towards getting rewards and to have the thing that we get the reward for to keep that shit going imagine if we just deleted that well suddenly you're just empty you don't really give a fuck about doing anything no self-improvement habit seems rewarding enough not no not even porn or video games or junk food or bad habits anything that bad you can think of smoking whatever that doesn't even feel anything when you get rid of the reward system inside your brain so this thing right here is actually more important than we think yet most motherfuckers want us to just be like nope delete it entirely i think there's ways i think there's levels to this shit. i think there's ways that we can like turn this shit around and that's what i'm going to start doing looking at the end goal being aware of the prerequisites and always fighting my hardest to get past them because these barriers right here bro they will you if you don't <laughs> tackle them ASAP but also being aware of the fact that I'm still at A I still need to keep on climbing this thing right here so I can get to B so yeah be motivated by rewards I think it's one of the greatest things you could ever do understanding that holy fuck when I get this when I have this and then I have to go with another one it, it's just fun as hell right I was about to get into some really high level thinking. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, good thing we stopped there, but yeah, bro. W mindset. Scroll down right now. Subscribe. Join our Legion. Book of social skills called. Don't be a dummy. You know what to do. Boom.